One of the biggest issues that all sales teams in any business right now is facing is show rate. And if you're not getting your show rate to at least 60-70% for all of the booked calls you're doing, then your ad spend or your outbound SDR efforts, really, they're starting to get wasted. And we're seeing people get as low as like 30-40%, especially during the summertime. One thing that we just did at Thinker.ai, and you can grab the link down below to test this out yourself, 100% free for seven days, is that we have now launched an appointment reminder outbound voice AI bot. It will literally directly plug into your calendar, it will call the people who have booked appointments and it will confirm, cancel, or it can even reschedule those appointments after it's talked to them. So you wanna get those confirmation, you wanna build that familiarity, you wanna make sure they're actually gonna show up. This voice AI agent was built specifically for that. Hello, this is Marissa. Am I speaking with Cody? Yes, you are. Hi, Cody. I'm a virtual assistant calling on behalf of Rahul Alim, your agency and AI mentor from the GSD. Is this a good time for a quick chat? Um, sure. Yeah, what is it? What is it about? I'm calling about your upcoming appointment with Rahul Alim. It's scheduled for 30 minutes and will be a virtual meeting. The purpose of the appointment is to discuss partnering with the GSD team to get access to our programs and done for you fulfillment options. Could you please confirm if you'll be able to attend? And you can even add in a twist where if they're asking to cancel, it can re-pitch them and say something to try to get them back on. Very, very cool. One of the coolest things that we've done so far. Uh, I'm actually not able to attend. Not an issue at all. We understand things come up. Thanks for letting us know. Are you sure you can't make it? Our team has already started on your plan of attack. If not, we can get you rescheduled. And it can directly integrate into your GHL accounts. It can directly integrate through make.com into thousands of other accounts. But I wanted to show you. So just this week, I just shot a free training showing exactly how to build one, how to set it up, and how to actually integrate it into your GHL system as well. So without further ado, let's hop over. And this is it, me showing you exactly how to build an appointment confirmation outbound voice AI agent and plug it directly into your calendars. Let's go over there and get you done. Cool guys, all right, what's going on everybody? So today we're gonna to do a couple of quick things. Number one is I'm gonna show you guys something that I think is kind of cool, which is how to build a outbound appointment reminder bot. Something I don't think you guys are using enough of and I think it's a great addition to uh, anything that you're doing for your clients and also for yourselves. Okay, so this is an appointment reminder bot, something that we just rolled out inside of uh, the Thinker platform a couple of weeks ago. So let me just go back here. Okay, and now where you find this is inside Thinker under a new thing here. You type in reminder, you'll see it right here. So it can confirm upcoming appointments, it can reschedule appointments, or it can cancel appointments as needed. Once you select it, and it will load eventually. So appointment reminder example. So inside of here, we've got a few things, typical things, initial greetings, right? Introductions, professions, all this stuff. But we've got new things, reason for the appointment, appointment reminder message and cancellation message, okay? Now in here, because we're just running this as a test, right? It's just gonna have a standard whatever for this, but when you do it inside of GHL, which I'll show you in a second, you're going to be attaching this specifically to an appointment reminder uh, sequence, which means it'll be pulling in the meeting date and time that way through there. Okay, so if I come down here to automations, Right, and come to sales pipeline automations that we normally do, it'll be a appointment reminder sequence, which means you'd be starting it with a trigger such as this, which would have an appointment. This will pull in the appointment stuff to it so that when you come down here and do your appointment reminder thing, scroll down here for this exact thing, meeting date and time, you'll put the appointment start date and time, which custom field appointment and start date time. Okay, so we'll circle back to that in a second, but yeah. So we're in here, right? We're gonna be saying this now, let's make this for somebody who just booked the appointment for our uh, partner program, let's say, for the GST, right? So, hello, this is Agent, am I speaking with this? We're gonna leave that the same. And then this is, hello, I'm virtual assistant calling on behalf of Cody, your agency expert from the GST, perfect. Uh, is this a good time for a quick chat? We're gonna leave that on here. I wanna play with this to see how this goes because I would change this, but it's doing the appointment reminder thing here. So I wanna see how that sounds. So we'll play with this a little bit together. Company name is the GSD. Profession is agency expert or mentor or whatever, right? Agency and AI expert and mentor. Representative name, let's go with, what well, most of them are booked under Rahul's name under the ad, so we'll do that. Reason for the appointment, 
to discuss partnering with the GSD team, team to get access to our programs and done for you fulfillment options that you've seen. So that's what the appointment is actually for, fulfillment, discuss, okay. Now the appointment reminder message here, right? Calling on behalf of, again, GSD, to confirm your appointment with, and we'll say Rahul Aleem, will you be there? Calling on behalf to confirm your appointment with GSD, about discussing, partnering with our team. As a quick reminder, call is about discussing, partnering with our, our program. And then for you, fulfillment options, just wanted to reach out and make sure you are still good for that, for that same. cancellation message. What would you put here, Rahul? Would you try and get them to rebook? Like, what would you, let's ideate on that a little bit for a cancellation message. They say, no, I can't make the call. Right? So I don't know if I'd want to just say, okay, thanks. Off you go. What like, you so, so there's, there's two things that, like, I'm just going to simulate what I would do as a human. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say like, oh man, that sucks. Cause we, are you sure you can't make it because we already blocked that time out and we wanted to really cover this ground with you. Could you carve out a little bit less time? Or something along those lines. Like I want them to honor what they've already agreed to. Because this is more of an honor thing. Like you booked it, not me. I've never met you. And somehow you can't make the call that you chose on my time. So I kind of want to have some sort of guiltiness in there. But positive guilt, if you will. Like, oh, shock. So we're sitting here waiting for you. We can't really replace that call with somebody else. Is it possible that you make it for the first part? That's my human way of doing it. From a bot way, so it's easily repeatable, if we want to eliminate that part, then I'd say, not a problem. I get it. Things come up. We have another slot available on X. Can you make that? But my first go-to is keep the appointment because now... I can't replace that, right? It's too hard for me to replace it last minute. It's kind of like a dental office. It's like you miss that appointment, that dentist just lost whatever that appointment, whatever the, the procedure costs. In our case, it's a free conversation that we're trying to earn somebody's business, right? So we've missed the swing of the bat. So I want to first try to protect the appointment. The second thing is rebook, but it all has to be in either either wittiness and fun. Yeah. But a little and a little bit of guilt sprinkled on top that we can't replace it. Can you just honor it? When I say it humanly, it's like flip a coin, 50%, yes, 50%, I just can't make it, but I'm willing to rebook. So the success rate is also pretty good. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this then. I, I've got a kind of like no issue at all. We understand things come up. Thanks for letting us know. Are you sure you can't make it? Our team already scheduled, already started on your plan of attack. If not, we can get you rescheduled by chance or something like that. So I kind of, because it kind of, you you're, you're doing two things at once. I'm kind of thinking this, it still leads them into rescheduling, but it yeah. also you know, adds a little bit of guilt. So let's try that. See you this sound. Hello, this is Marissa. Am I speaking with Cody? Yes, you are. Hi, Cody. I'm a virtual assistant calling on behalf of Rahul Alim, your agency and AI mentor from the GSD. Is this a good time for a quick chat? Um, Sure. Yeah. What is it? What is it about? I'm calling about your upcoming appointment with Rahul Alim. It's scheduled for 30 minutes and will be a virtual meeting. The purpose of the appointment is to discuss partnering with the GSD team to get access to our programs and done for you fulfillment options. Could you please confirm if you'll be able to attend? Uh, I'm actually not able to attend. Not an issue at all. We understand things come up. Thanks for letting us know. Are you sure you can't make it? Our team has already started on your plan of attack. If not, we can get you rescheduled. Um. I mean, I, if we could reschedule it, that would be best. I just can't make it that day. Got it. Let's reschedule your appointment. Could you let me know a date and time that works better for you? Um, yeah. I mean, the appointment really just that day isn't good. So how about like uh, first thing next week? It seems I'm unable to check the availability for next Monday at the moment. Let me suggest this. I can have Rahul Aleem call you back to discuss alternative options, or you can propose another date. Yeah, so that test calendar is not actually active right now, so that's why I can't do that. But I think that that worked well. Rahul, I'm not sure if you're there, but what, how did you feel about that, yeah. that cancellation message and how it flowed through that? Would you change it all, or do you think that, that was good? No, that was good. 
I would agree, actually. Okay. Cool. Okay. So that's how quick and easy that can be. Now, how cool is that, right? Normally, we used to have to hire setters to do this kind of job, which is call appointments, confirm the appointments, increase show rate. So this right here is going to help a lot with that. It's a very simple thing, but it's something that we are putting into all of our clients, uh, custom builds now, all of our students stuff as well, where we're going to start implementing these outbound calls to do appointment cancellation. So you'll see this one is for a home services build. I'm going to walk you through how you actually now take this. So we've built this in here. We've tested it. We're like, okay, this is cool. How can I actually implement this so that now it's like a salesperson, an appointment setter, an SDR that can call, confirm, rebook, or cancel appointments directly in that same calendar. Well, you do it through dynamic outbound call. So you come down here, click on the dynamic outbound call. Okay. Then you're going to set it all up. Contact phone raw format is always what we use here. So raw format, first name, last name, email, time zone. We're picking Susan right now a lot. It's a new voice that we've been using quite a bit that works quite well. And then you're going to have this. Obviously, you've got to switch this to standard. There's no phone number in this account. And then you've got to, oh, there is actually now. So pick the phone number here. So it has to be on standard. Pick the phone number. This is where it's calling from, from Ava. You're going to pick for the scenario, the appointment reminder scenario. That's what it's called. Okay. And then all your options are going to look identical to what we just had over here. So for this one, it's a home services, right? So what we're saying is the same thing. Am I speaking with this person? I'm a virtual assistant talking. It's all the same exact kind of first part. Then we're going to go location name for contact, profession contractor, representative name is going to be username so that this can be reused in other snapshots. What's the reason for the appointment is to speak with our team and get a quote set up for your reno project. This is set up for a home services thing. So we're using general contractor just as the starting point. Now the appointment reminder message, I'm calling on behalf to conf uh, of company name to confirm your appointment with representative name. We're looking forward to getting your reno projects quote all done up for you and wanted to confirm you're still good for that day. We're all just trying to say, hey, here's a reminder of what it is you booked the call for. And here is what I'd like you to do, which is confirm this. Okay. Cancellation note. I'm actually going to swap this out because I like what we built over here. We understand things come up. Are you sure you can't make it? Yeah. So we could take something very similar to this. We can go over here. This is the this is almost like an objection handling thing. So I don't really want to say thanks for letting us know goodbye. Like we always want to get it rebooked, right? Not an issue at all. We understand things come up. Are you sure you can't make it? Our team already has, let's say, like what Rahul was saying earlier, already has the time slot all locked off and are ready to go. If not, we can get you rescheduled as well. That is no issue, right? So we have that in there. We're trying to say, okay, cool, we're canceling. Yeah, but let's get you rebooked. I don't want it to just be okay, cancel and shut that off. I want to be pushing that forward. Same thing as I would have my setters do. This part I already went over, the meeting time and date, right? Now, in order for this to work, it has to be in a workflow inside of GHL that has an appointment as the trigger because you want to be pulling in that event time. If not, you have to create an event time here, but you're talking about this for appointment reminders. You want to always just have the trigger be appointment was booked via a calendar. And, that in with okay. Okay? and then we want to make sure the calendar is whatever calendar it is. Reminder to everybody how calendars work inside of Ava is to go to <clears throat> inside of Thinker, I mean is to go to your actual account. It's not a link, but the calendar ID. So you're going to go to the sub account that you're working in. You're going to scroll down to settings. You're going to go to calendars. And then whichever one you want, normally the sales calendar that you've got set up, you're going to click this button here and it's going to copy that ID and you're going to put that ID in here. That's the calendar. It will check and rebook and all that stuff, cancel and all that stuff for all the capabilities that the appointment reminder bot has. Cool. So what I want to see you guys now do is start implementing this. Okay. That was how you build an appointment reminder bot like this and a couple of different cool little things that me and Rahul would do to make it work both inside the Thinker platform and also over here directly inside your GHL workflows to make that work and to increase the show rates for all of your and your clients appointments. So that was what I wanted to do for the training portion of today, guys. We can kind of hop into some Q&A now if you'd like. Go ahead, Kathy. Um, so what we would do is when we link this Will we attach this to one of our calendars or can we attach this workflow to our different calendars or is it just attached to one calendar? So you should, I mean, you can technically attach it to a different calendar, but the way that this works inside of GHL is this here, 
the way these triggers can be made is either all of the appointments in the whole sub account are used for it, or you can create a filter where it is by the specific calendar. And then this rest of the workflow would only be attached to appointments in that calendar. Mm, okay. And okay. And then is also uh, based on, we'll, we'll rebook them and all that stuff based on what you have here. Okay. And then, um, Will this automatically be a snapshot that we upload or is it part of, where will we be able to find it? So this is a um, specific- No, I'm new to this. Well, I'm not new, but you know what I get. You yes, know so this, is a new, this is a newer within the last few weeks scenario that we built. So it's, okay. in, so it's basically, if you go into your actual thinker account, right? If you click on add new project, and type in reminder. It's a new one of these. It's a new scenario for you to be able to build out. Once you set that up, right, it'll look like how I showed you this earlier, right? And you'll be able to go through here and test it. So you have all this stuff and be able to build it and do that. But don't it's, we have to load in the workflow somewhere? The and then workflow if over workshop? here. Yep. So this is just for the thinker part. But then if you're over inside of high level, right, all of these things always, right, these dynamic things are, are actions. You know what I mean? So if I click on here, I can, on any workflow, as long as I've got it set up in that sub account, oh, that's all. Then you can scroll down here and you'll have a dynamic outbound call. And then you just scroll down here and you would select the scenario. So exactly how I just built it out earlier, right? You're just selecting the appointment reminder scenario. And then you've got all these options, same as you've got here to be able to build out that appointment reminder box. Okay. Yeah. I missed the beginning where you were starting to build it out. Yeah, no problem at all. But does that make sense now? Yes, and if I come back and watch this, I'll be able to build it out from start to finish by watching you. 100%, that's what I did, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for spending the time to watch that amazing training. Like I mentioned previously, my intention is for you not just to watch that training, but if you got something out of it, if you think this information is useful, I want you to continue that journey with us. And you can do that in a couple of ways. One, I want you to smash that subscribe button so that you get notified every single time we put another one of these out, which will be at minimum once to twice per week. The other thing I want you to do is go ahead and click that next video right there beside you so that you can dive in and get shit done. Hope to see you out there.